Hello, boys and girls. I'm your friend, JT Show Me. And today, I'm going to take this paper plate and this cup of water and we're going to talk about upside down thinking. Now, you tell me, of these two items, which of the two is the heaviest? This paper plate or this cup of water? You're right. It's the cup of water. Now I want you to tell me if I were to take this cup of water and turn it upside down, what would happen to the water in the cup? Well, let's see. Oh! The water spilled out. Our memory text today is taken from the book of Philippians, the second chapter, and verse 3. And here's what the Bible says. Let nothing be done through strife and vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let us esteem others better than ourselves. So what is God saying to us? He's saying that we should not always try to be competitive, always boasting and bragging about ourselves and putting other people down. He's saying that we should not always try to draw attention to ourselves, but we should try to put others ahead of ourselves. So many people spend all their time trying to be first, for instance, if you're standing, if you're standing in line, waiting your turn, uh, there'll be some people that'll be so impatient, and what they would do, they'll jump ahead of the line, and they'll jump ahead of you. They are always trying to put themselves first, and they're thinking about nobody but themselves. And then there's some people that just simply thinks that they are better than everybody else, that they are smarter than everybody else. And they deserve to have more than everybody else. They think of themselves first and fail to do what Jesus is saying where he tells us to put others ahead of ourselves. Some people are so selfish and so greedy that they think of nobody else but themselves. But Jesus is trying to teach us how to be thoughtful and to look out for each other by putting others first. God is trying to teach us lessons of humility. God doesn't want our hearts to be so filled with self-importance and pride. But he wants us to be humbled like Jesus. A lot of people feel that thinking and doing what the Bible and Jesus says is completely out of date. And they feel that what Jesus says just doesn't work today. But that's not true. You see, they think that if you do what Jesus says, that that is upside-down thinking. It's old-fashioned, and it doesn't work. To them, what the Bible and Jesus talks about just simply doesn't make sense. It's like, it's like wasting water. They feel that it's like being thirsty, wanting some water to drink, but instead of drinking the water, what you do, you turn the cup upside down and you pour all the water out or pour the water on the ground. They feel that that simply wouldn't make sense. It would be a waste of water. But what do you think that would happen if I put water in the cup and then I put a paper plate on the top of the water? And then I turned the cup upside down. But before I do that, you tell me, which of the two are the heaviest? This paper plate or the water that is within the cup? You're right. It's the water that is within the cup. It's heavier than this paper plate. So if I took this paper plate and put it on top of this water, where the water is heavier than this plate, and I turn the plate upside down, what do you think is going to happen? 
Well, let's see. Why didn't the paper plate fall to the ground and all the water spill out? You see, boys and girls, God has natural laws that always work. God created something called atmospheric pressure. And atmospheric pressure has something to do with air pressure. You see, when you turn this cup upside down, it creates a vacuum inside of this cup. And what happens, around this cup, there's air pressure. All around it, all around the bottom, the top, and all around it. But when we turn this cup upside down, the, the pressure that is within this cup becomes like a vacuum cleaner. You know what vacuum cleaners do? Vacuum cleaners suck things up. And so what's happening, the air pressure in this cup sucks the paper and the water up. And the air that's around it is stronger and greater than the air pressure that's in the cup. And it's pushing on the plate, pushing the plate up. And the air inside the cup is sucking the plate up. And so the pressure, the air pressure, makes it so that the plate stays intact. As atmospheric pressure. And just as God has natural laws, like atmospheric pressure and air pressure, that holds this plate to the cup, so, God also has, has his moral law of love. Or just like God's natural laws that affects this cup and this plate, his law of love seems completely upside down to what we as people would normally do. So, boys and girls, what lessons have we learned from the day? Number one, instead of boasting about what I have and others don't have and what I can do and what you can't do and putting other people down and thinking that just that you're so important and bigger and better than somebody else or and that you can do better and have better than other people. We need to learn how to be humble like Jesus and, and to look out for one another and to treat others the way we want to be treated and to put others ahead of ourselves. And just as God has natural laws that work, so his moral law of love also works. Let's pray that God will help us to be like Jesus. Dear Father God, help us that we should not be so filled with pride and self-importance and that we spend time boasting and bragging, our, bragging upon ourselves but that we will treat others the way we would like to be treated and that we won't put people down or think that we're more important and bigger than other people, but that we'll be loving and kind and put others first. We pray in the name of Jesus and for his sake. Amen. Hello, boys and girls. It's me, your friend, Professor J.T. Shomi. And I just want to personally thank you for watching Show Me Kids Ministries. And if you like this video, be sure to push the subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the videos. And be sure to click the like button and share the videos with all of your friends and relatives. Well, I'll see you next time.